Okay. Last one. Make it a good one. Okay. Someone else. I'll try. Okay. Um, I'm a PhD student in nuclear engineering. A um, nuclear engineer? Um, yes. Okay, I'm the I'm doing a PhD. I'm really a nuclear engineering. Yeah, uh -huh. I think that will be soon. Um, and I have a master's degree in oceanography, uh -huh. so um, you can tell I'm a fine researcher. Uh -huh. <laughs> so my question to you is, um, if you are elected as the president of the United States, will you rejoin the uh, Paris Climate Change Agreement? Oh. And my last question is, um, what major policy decisions uh, will you make if uh, resume or maybe continue U.S.'s fight against the climate change. Okay, all right. So the question is, uh, uh, would I rejoin the Paris Climate Accord? And the answer is yes. <laughs> but can I say for a minute, there is so much more we need to do. I feel the urgency of this moment. Um, the United States is a leader of the world on climate change. The problem is right now we're leading in the wrong direction. We are not only adding to the climate problem, we're giving cover to countries and corporations all around the world that are destroying our climate, and we are running out of time. So I just want to do a couple of highlights on how we have to do this, and we've got to do this with urgency now. So how about we start with one, and that is, we're talking about trying to put together a Green New Deal. Anybody in favor of that? I am. Good. How about we stop subsidizing oil companies? real investments, not only in green energy, but in the infrastructure we need to develop the real resilience to the changes that are coming our way, right? But we can make the economic case, I'll make it all day long, about why it is critical that we invest now in reducing our carbon footprint and hardening our infrastructure against the climate change that is already upon us. But I don't have to make the economic argument. I make the moral argument. This earth was left to us by our parents and our grandparents with the understanding that we would take care of it and leave it to our children and grandchildren. We cannot fail future generations. We must, we must address climate change urgently. So I'm all in on this. I'm all in.